What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? John from John's Game Room here with a new series that we're going to be doing here on the channel. We're going to be doing another Let's Play. Well, it's actually going to be the first one. This will be going up before Bloodborne. We're going to be playing Gone Home. I've heard a lot of good things about this game. Um, and it was free a little while back on the PlayStation Store. So I figured, you know, why not, right? Let's, what am I doing here that I can't play this? So, I haven't seen anything about this. I've heard it's a really good game with a really good story. Um, it's only supposed to be, like, at most two hours. So we're talking only a couple of episodes here. Um, just going to be something fun that we can do as a group. And um, I'll probably have a game review going up after this playthrough is done. Um, so yeah, look forward to that, but, uh, let's get right into it here. New game, do we have options? We do. Sound? No. Gameplay? No. Graphics? No. Language? No, shoot. Language? Display subtitles, that's what we want. I don't know what overlay text is, but we're not gonna have it on. Okay, here we go. Start it up. Walk using left stick, look around using right. Okay. Pretty, pretty straightforward stuff there. But, you know, I just, I just, I'm just looking for something fun that we can do on the channel in the downtime. Um, like I said, I heard a lot of good stuff about this game. And figured, why not play it? Don't have anything else going on tonight. Um, so, yeah. Did it freeze? Nope, 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 maybe. Come on. Come on. There it goes. It gets very dialogue driven. So, the Fulbright Company presents. Hi, Mom. Uh, so, I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Gone. Okay, home. so. Love you. See you soon. Bye. All right. June seventh, nineteen Kitty, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone, <laughs> mom and dad, to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Alright, so here's all of our stuff. It is. It's pouring outside. Turn lamp on. Oh. House key attic to backpack. Result two to check the contents. Oh, oh one. Contents. So we got it's my passport. I got it to go on my Europe trip. All right, so that's who we're playing. We got our boarding pass, the spare key that was hidden under. Old Christmas cup. I don't know if this is a scary game or not. Fuck. 
Grab cup. What am I supposed to do with this cup? What the hell? Why am I able to grab these small little things? Directions to work from new home. Total time, travel time, one hour and ten minutes. Damn, that's a hell of a drive. Can close that. What's on here? Anything that we can look at? Nope. What about down here? Yeah, maybe. No. What's this? Have a doggone cool 17th birthday. <laughs> Sam. Okay, so that's from Uncle Harvey. This is so horrifying. I feel like this might be a horror game. And I'm gonna cry if it is. Examine it. What is the purpose of examining this? Boxes, kitchen. Dear Katie, what the fuck? so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Is there a journal in here? I'm confused. Oh. At the new house, added to backpack. Where? Journal. Oh, okay. This is fucking horrifying, dude. Sam, Kate, Kitty, Mom, and Dad, Jan and Terry. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. That's fucked up. Okay. Um. Sam. Sam. Hello. That's loud. 
Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. What the fuck is going on? Please be there. This is horrifying, dude. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, it says three messages. This is the most horrifying game I've ever played. I don't know if something's gonna happen. Read itinerary. Hades departure. Do you guys hear the floorboard creak? Oh my god. Hades departure. Like. Oh my god, if this is fucking horrifying, I don't... I don't do well with scary stuff, guys. Please, dear God, don't be anything. Fucking thunder, really? We have to grab a book. Holy Bible. Oops. Don't want to disrespect it. I don't feel like we're gonna find a fucking dead body in here. Is that I'm gonna turn around and uh, go away? Pick up one of my trophies. Regional track and field finals. Damn. First place. Look at that. We're good shit. Pick up one of my old track trophies. Sam or Jan? It's so good to hear from you again. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with cursive. All this, m all this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little, the fuck? The, remember the little dorm room we had, we shared freshman year when we were miserable. Uh, oh my god, I hate, I hate cursive. Fuck was that sound? <sighs> Fantasizing about our dream homes. I always said I would. Uh, I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. And who got both? Somebody up there likes you. Uh, this is scary. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto m numbers. I'll play them. Seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old... I, uh, I hate this thing. I hate reading this. Okay, um, so we're gonna jump through there. Blah, 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 blah. We trade places. Um, so how are the girls doing? Um, how's, has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? S speaking of jealous, right back soon. I miss you. Rumi. Carol. 
That was a horrible rep representation of my reading abilities. But you gotta understand. Okay. It's fucking locked. I don't wanna go upstairs. Upstairs is where all the bad stuff happens. No. No, 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 no. Uh uh. No. No, I refuse. I refuse. I will not do it. You know what? I'm gonna pause real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and look online to see if this is a horror game because if it is, I don't wanna play this. I don't wanna play this. But if it's not a horror game, I then you know what? I don't have a problem doing this. I just I I need to know. One second, guys. Okay. It's not a scary game. It's not. The atmosphere is a scary game. But it's not supposed to be a scary game. Like, why? Why? Check your location in the house. It's fucking horrible. Horrifying though. All these lights need to go on. I don't want this door open when I'm doing this. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. Uh, okay, we got all that stuff and a positive attitude. Apparently, we don't have that. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon, and again, welcome. Beth Valens. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Hi Mom, Dad, Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many per per Persian things, including eating La Petite whatever and wearing a beret I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back Sam I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare book company since you are my favorite sister love you all Katie weird that's weird Arbor Hill read obituary Oscar Doc Manson Oscar Manson, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Manson was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County, to whom he provided wellness and comfort. I don't know why somebody would have an obituary just chilling there. Us? Put a TV on and I don't want to go in that room.
Grab Poltergeist book. Why? Why is it gonna be for the guys? The Heaven at the Edge of the World, Samantha Greenberg, Grade 2, Story, The Turtle People, Part 1. Captain Allegra <laughs> looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was a black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at the horse island, the first mate said. Oh, the first thing I said. Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship Karn oh, came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, Yar never gonna find the edge. Thar ain't no paradise, and Yar father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Okay. I mean, besides you know, the mediocre storytelling, you know, it was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting uh, read there. A lot of VHS stuff. JFK, X-Files, lots of X-Files, Blade Runner, Director's Cut, Airplane, nice, good quality movies, is that dad's, wait, it's that book dad wrote, The Accidental Savior, November 21st, 1963, John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? Just another James Bond, what the fuck? Okay. The X-Files, man, the people really like them. Depressing. Examine ticket, the Coliseum, show place of origin. Oregon. Damn, dude, they're gonna go see Pulp Fiction? That's legit. All the matches are gone. That would have made this whole room a lot less eerie. I don't know why. The game allows us to do these these things. Hey, are you there now? Wait. Girl Sam. I'm Tommy, I'm at the back. It's kind of hard to read. Behind you, wave if you get this, and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? Just thought since you're my, since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I, I thought I'd ask if something, I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No. No, I don't mind. What do you want to ask? Was it just? Your uncle who went psycho, or does it run in the family? That's fucked up, yo. Damn, that's fucked up. 
is a dark, dark room. I don't do shit in the dark. Okay. Why? I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready for that yet. I'm gonna take things one at a time. Benjamin Almond, The Killing of JFK, A Theory. You've seen the movie. Let's go to the truth. Some serious stuff with JFK going on here. Examine paper. Pioneer CTL combination laser disc compact. And a hot thousand dollars. Holy shit. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but the sureness of purpose and, de and dedication to craft. Do you happen to be in the market for a combination LCD player, LC LDCD player, laser disc slash CD? Just so you guys know, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Okay. I mean, sure. Let's go ahead and turn the light on. Everything's better with a little bit of extra light. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Not even that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked. He blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt un un incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited into, onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared. He stared for a moment, processing his sick, feckled toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of the gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. Then, fabric that strained as at the seams <laughs> to contain her generous bo bosom oh man was emblazoned with the phase matter transference operator fawn he passed out then he passed out 